for those of you um, who have decided that poverty is not going to be part of your life, welcome once again to Club 1000 Plus. Some years back, especially last year, God began to talk to me about I, I first of all when when I started when I started um, this ministry, the Guy Marys ministry, I also since I hate I hate poverty so much, I decided that the best thing for me to do also in the midst of every other thing was for me to begin to teach on the area of prosperity. When I decided to do that, the Almighty is my witness what I'm telling you. I heard God spoke to me and said, I didn't call and choose you to teach prosperity. I want you to look for, and I am also going to call into your life a thousand plus humans around the world and I want the impartation that I have imparted into you that is the impartation that the Almighty has imparted into me the, the strong giftedness that he has put in me and awakened in me that he want me to impart the same thing to them he said to me very clearly, in the kind memory, I am calling you to make people rich. I am calling you and choosing you to enrich your life for many, many generations to come. And I want you to deposit the same anointing that is upon you on a thousand plus human beings around the world from every nation every city every village every state of all races whether they be asians africans african americans americans native indians Middle Eastern, Jewish, people from the Caribbean, whatever, wherever they are from, God began to speak to me that he wants to make them rich. And so for one year, I prayed about it. I fasted about it grew more deeper with God in that area. So some weeks ago, the Almighty came back to me and began to talk to me. It started with someone calling me from Massachusetts. And then somebody else called me from uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Another person called me from um, um, New Mexico. And throughout that day, I found myself praying for them to become rich. This is the meaning of riches. It is this. Riches is the overflowing, abundant accumulation of wealth. The accumulation of wealth, the piling up of wealth is riches. 
See, the difference between prosperity and riches is this. For prosperity, prosperity is some wealth that someone acquired in his lifetime. And sometime after the passing away of that person, that somewhat wealth called prosperity dies with him. It is not passed on abundantly to the next generation. It does not continue in the family or in the foundation or the institution. That's the difference between prosperity and riches. Riches is this more than enough pile up abundant accumulation of a lot of wealth, not some wealth, much wealth. And it is passed on to the next generation, from generation to generation, family, the same family, forever. That's what we mean by riches. And God began to speak to me that most of his sons and daughters only aim at some form of prosperity, some little wealth. They don't think about ruling this world, being in charge of this earth. And I began to see with him so there is a lot for me to write about. There is a lot for me to teach in this area. Hallelujah. So much. So much for me to teach in this area. So, God has anointed me with an uncommon, extraordinary anointing to bring riches into your life. But you have a part to play for this to happen. I am not going to chase after you. If, if to be rich is important to you, you have to chase after me. Because I got the seed to plant in you. I got the word to give to you that is going to make you rich. Because God has downloaded this stuff into me. It's a whole lot of stuff that, is, that he has downloaded into me that is going to make you rich. We are not talking about one car, one house, the middle class phenomenon. No, that is not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is many of these things. That's what we are talking about. Businesses, investments, a lot of money, a lot of houses, you become a land owner, real estate owner. If you, if you start a gas station, you have many of them spread around the world. So whatever you are going to do, you become a celebrity. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what, that's the kind of thing that I'm talking about. And that is the kind of thing that God wants from you. Because look at the unbelievers. Look at people who don't even believe in Jesus. Who do not have the life and nature of God in their lives. And what happened? See how they have piled up wealth. For their children, children. For foundation and institutions forever. So why are you satisfied with little life? So that's why some weeks ago I began the club 1000 plus and i want you to become a member of the club 1000 plus because i am going to invest into you i am going to speak uncommon and extraordinary things that you've never heard into your life things that are going to make you rich things that are gonna make you so mighty and great on the earth so that you become a generational breaker, a generation breaker. What your father could not achieve, what your mother could not achieve, is what I'm going to help you to achieve. This is not a joke. This is not a scam. This is God telling me to teach you these things 
God's way. If you are going to be a member of Club 1000 Plus, you have to contribute the sum of a thousand US dollars. God said, I should not ask you for the money up front. The meaning is this. You can start slowly to sow. Some people have called me and said, as God will bless them, because God has already heard that prayer, that they want to sow instead of a thousand dollar seed. They want to sow ten thousand dollar seeds for the work of God. Not for me, but for the work of God. The gospel needs to be preached. People need to be delivered. Institutions need to be built. Real people who need deliverance should not go to where they go, they go and get involved with satanic, satanic things. They should be where the power of God is flowing. Nowadays, God has begun to bless us with pastors in other places. We need to support them. So I call on you to become a member of the Club 1000 Plus. My desire is for God to make you rich. That is my desire for you. I want the Almighty to make you rich. And the desire of God and the will of God is to make you rich. But we always have to give God something to work with. We give God our prayers to work with. We give God our money for God to work with. We give Him material resources for Him to work with. We contribute to our family members, to friends, to the church, to our ministries, to organizations, to institutions. Why? Because we are giving God through these things something for Him to work with in our life. God must have something to work with so that He can release whatever you're asking Him. And that is why God has ordained me, anointed me, consecrated me, elevated me to the position that I hold as a bishop, as a prophet, as a pastor, as a teacher, to come into your life and to begin to teach you, to begin to speak into your life. I am your facilitator, your mentor. I am your accountability partner. So it's not just going to be in the area of money alone. It's going to flow into your marriage. It's going to flow into every area, how you raise kids, everything. Because when God elevates you, he elevates everything around you. That's how God does his business. So I look forward to you releasing your $1,000 seed for God to work with. You can start with $50, $100, $500. If you want to plant more, that's good. I'm going to tell you the reason why. Big offerings move God. Let nobody fool you that small offerings move God because it was the widow's might. Remember that that widow's might was all that that woman had. That's why it moved Jesus. But when you have more than a widow's might, why do you need to sow a widow's might? Today, I call on you to call me and let me know that you are going to be involved in this. And let me know how much you are sowing up front. I cannot wait to lift up your money order, to lift up your real check. I cannot wait to hear you say to me, I have gone down to your side. In the Kai Mary's ministry, you've gone into that side, you've typed in on, in the internet, in the Kai Mary ministries. And when you are on that page, you will see a yellow button that says donate. You go there and you sow into, into our ministries. So that the work of God will be done on earth. I can't wait for you to write to me and tell me, I am so to turn to amount. I am now ready. That those are the people, the people who will belong to. Club 1000 plus are the people that when they call me, I will really have time for them. 
I will really have time to minister to them. I want to have time to minister to you. And for the rest of you who are not calling with your prayer request, your need, the, the, the this, the that, when you belong to this club, then the Almighty will begin to do uncommon, extraordinary things in your life. Things that you've never seen before will begin to happen to you. That is how God acts. That is how God does his business. Hallelujah. Now today, I want you to know something. I want you to know something today. I am going to be speaking to you on a topic that says I am going to be speaking to you on a topic that says the voices that will make you rich the voices that will make you rich is what I'm going to be talking to you about Jesus said this my sheep they hear my word they hear my voice and they follow me. As stranger, they will never follow. The voices you hear is the voices that determine who you are. The voices you hear, you listen to, is what is going to make you poor or what is going to make you rich. And I am encouraging you to listen carefully to what I'm going to tell you. Now, before I continue this, let me tell you some other ways that you are going to sow into, uh, you're going to sow your $1,000 seed in the club 1000 plus. Now, you can send your check or your money order. Let it be real. Let's stop joking with God when it comes to the issue of money. Everybody suddenly becomes smart. Everybody suddenly going to cheat each other. God does not cheat anybody. I encourage you to send your check, your money order, to P.O. Box 12474, Wichita, Kansas, 67212. Wichita is W-I-C-H-I-T like Tom, A like Apple, Kansas State, K-S, 67212. Write to me in the Kai Mary 2000. That is 2000 Idika Imeri2000 at gmail.com. My phone number, ministry phone number is 316-765-0060. Call me. Call me. If you and your family members are having problems, call me. That's why I am here. That's why I exist. I exist to benefit you and your family. Now let me tell you something. I want you to begin to think seriously about your life. You have lived enough in sickness. You've lived enough in divorce and separation. You've lived enough in poverty. Are you not tired of it? Are you not tired of it? That's why God has decided that through me, he wants to make you rich. And you have to appreciate this. The Almighty want to make you rich. See what the Bible says. For my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. His riches is what I'm interested in. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit has so much wealth that if you see the wealth that Jesus has, the wealth of the Father, or the wealth of the Holy Spirit, envy will kill you. God wants to get us out of that poverty mentality, that mentality of fear, that mentality that when you take money out to buy something quality, you don't feel good about it. But when you take out money and buy something inferior, you say, okay, that's great. Because that's the way you think. Nowadays, when I want to buy something, when I'm going for something that I desperately need to use to pursue the ministry things, I always hear the Holy Spirit say to me, go 
for the best. Go for the best. Go for what is superior, what will last. Now let me continue to talk to you about the voices that will make you rich. First of all, Jesus said, my sheep, they hear my voice. They hear my voice. If you are going to become a rich person, you have to begin to study how God runs his business on the earth. And that is what I'm going to teach you. That's what I desire to teach you. I desire to teach you and to speak into your life and to cause to manifest in your life a breakthrough that will make you rich. If you will listen, voices are very important. Who are you listening to? What are the voices you are listening to? You have been listening to so many voices. Voices that will never profit you. Voices that are trashy and trivial. When are you going to begin to learn the way Jesus does his business? What are the things that Jesus said that you have to do? First of all, he talks about sowing and reaping. God even spoke in Genesis and said this, In as much as this earth remain, so a, 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 a sowing time and harvest time will never cease. A thousand dollar seed is what you're giving to God and say, God, this is what I want you to work with. Release money into my hand. I want things to begin to work for me. Break down whatever has been stopping me. Stagnation, causes, witchcraft, spells, incantation, enchantment. Including a dull mind, fear, unbelief, doubt, so that you are unable to venture into things that will profit you. Many people I see them, they have giftedness, massive giftedness, yet they are so poor. Churches, so poor. Pastors, so poor. I have seen people who are bankers. Judge, attorneys, all kind of people, and they are still poor. Therefore, I come to conclusion that it is not the education that is the problem. It is not your birth that is the problem. It's not the mistakes of other people that is the problem. It is that you don't want to be rich. The voices you are listening to are stopping you from being rich. When you begin to read the gospel and you begin to listen to the voice of Jesus, the Messiah, something begins to happen to you. Something begins to happen to you. You begin to see the way he runs his business. All it took the disciples was for them to obey Jesus, obey his instruction, obey his command. What did Jesus say about money? Those are the things I want to teach you. Jesus came and approached the disciples. They have been toiling all night looking for fish. Nothing. When Jesus appeared, he said to them, have you got something? They said, no. He said to them, put it on this side. Put your neck on this side. The fish are on this side, they are not on that side. Many of us are trying to catch our fish on the area in which we are not even gifted. We are trying to catch, to make money in places and with people that we have no business doing, 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 trying to work with. We marry wrong people who bring luggages to us trash to us 
brought problems into our lives. We listen to those voices. And it does not help you. You are a witness that you've not been helped by the voices you've been listening to. You've read many books. You've listened to many preachers. It has not helped you. The greatest voice that you begin to listen to through me is the voice of Jesus. I'll begin to tell you what Jesus says in the word of God. What did Jesus say about the, the, the right choice making? Others call it decision making. I call my own choice making. Others talk about focus. I talk about concentration. There are so many things I want to teach you. My dear, precious one, there is a lot I want to teach you. There is a lot that I want to sow into your life. If you will allow me, and if you will give me something to work with quickly, don't keep that money thinking that he's going to generate this, he's going to give God part of it, and see whether God is a liar or a thief. God has never lied to me. God began to speak to me and said, the reason why you've been complaining about money, you've been, you've been wanting this, this has not been put coming, is because you've been talking so much about healing. That's why many people are getting healing from you. You've been talking so much about deliverance. That's why people are getting deliverance from demonic oppression. When are you going to begin to talk about riches? And then riches going to come. And I began to talk about riches. And then riches began to come. You've been talking about all this other thing. You've been reading about all this other thing. Apart from reading about how you're going to begin to pile up accumulation of wealth. That's the meaning of riches. You want to die without leaving nothing behind on the earth that you will be known for. That is not good. That is not good. So almost like you did not come to visit the earth. Hallelujah. I dare ask you today to begin to listen to the voice of the Son of God. And I have lain and spent time with the Son of God to learn how he does his business. And I want to teach you the business style of Jesus so that the business style of Jesus is what you're going to apply in your own business, in your own life. luxury in your life. I don't want any more pain and coming and suffering in your life. I don't want any more impatient and horrid life in your life. Let's stop it. The next voice you have to learn to listen to is the voice of the Holy Spirit. If you ask the Holy Spirit to accompany you in every choice you are going to make, in money, in marriage, in everything, in being rich, in the investment of your time and talent in your job, if you ask the Holy Spirit to come and become part and parcel of it, the administrator of your life and of your business, you will never fail. You will become rich. And the Holy Spirit is teaching me something that I'm going to invest into your life. So that you will become rich. The next thing is, God the Father has spoken so much in the Word of God, sacred scripture. When are you going to begin to tap into what God has promised you? Because what you say is very important. What you say from what God says is what is going to make you rich. God has spoken. God the Father has spoken. God the Son has spoken. God the Holy Spirit has spoken. Are you using what they've spoken to get what you want? Let me tell you another, another voice you have to listen to. What about your own voice? Have you been listening to your voice? Have you been listening to your own voice? What are you saying? I listen to a lot of Christians. 
and what they are saying is contrary to the law of riches. What they are saying is absolutely contrary to everything that draws and attracts riches. Absolutely. Absolutely. Why is it that you want riches in your life and you are talking poverty? You are talking fear. You are talking unbelief. Because what you talk about is what you begin to act. You gotta stop talking. Your voice gotta become the voice of power, not the voice of weakness, not the voice of unbelief, not the voice of fear. Afraid to venture into life. Afraid to do things that sometimes will fail, then you try again and succeed and become rich. Every human being who've ever succeeded in life, they've always tried and tried and tried until they got it right. God Almighty, this is not the, this is not the first time that He has constructed this earth. The earth in which we live today is a reconstruction. Hallelujah. I am asking you to begin to listen to your own voice. Begin to speak what is right. Begin to speak riches into your life. You are the one that is holding yourself back. 90% of what is holding you back from being rich is you. What you're saying is defeating what you should be doing. That is why when you, you pile up money, you do things, you say a word, it destroys everything. The word you're saying is destroying your career. The word you're saying is destroying your marriage, is destroying your children. Be careful because you are the voice that is destroying you. You must begin to speak the right thing. And I am here to teach you the right things to say. I am here to show you the right choices to make so that you will become rich. Now let me go to the next thing. There are other people that God has already kept kept here on earth for us. They have already made good choices. Have the gift of concentration, the gift of detail, what I call the gift of detail. You don't have the gift of detail. I got it and I want to impact that to you so that you'll become detailed in everything you do. In your money transaction, you become detailed. Your money begins to work for you. Your money should not just be for you to buy a car and a house. Your money should be for investment. That is why money is a seed. Invest into businesses that is going to reproduce money. That is going to reproduce material resources. So that you can buy services that you cannot provide for yourself. I want to teach you how to recruit the right staff to work with you. I want to teach you how to marry the right man, how to marry the right woman. That's why I'm here. I'm not here just for a joke. I'm not here just for fun. I'm here for serious, serious thing in your life. In your lifetime, I want to change in your life. There are people who already have what it takes. They have written about it. I'm not asking you to read everything that everyone has written about wealth, prosperity, riches. Of, I want to be your primary consultant. I am the voice that God has sent primarily into your life. I am like a rock for you. Like Jesus is a rock for me, I am a rock for you. Jesus has sent me into your life. To be a rock for you. To be a voice for you. I am the action that must happen in your life. God has given me much influence and talent and giftedness to pour into your life. Do not resist what I'm doing. I am a voice that heaven has sent to earth in our generation. To teach them what they do not know. To teach them about joy. To teach them about how God does his business. That's why I'm here on earth. That's why I exist. I exist for you. Primarily for you and your family. And for your business. 
If I were you, I would begin to send my tithe to the guy in Mary's ministries. I will begin to bless the man of God. So that God will bless me. I know that other men of God have done, have done so many foolish things with money and with their place of power, not me. I am here primarily for service. I look forward to a thousand plus of you who decide to follow Jesus through me and my ministry for you. So into my life, so into our ministry for your good. The work of God must be done and is waiting until you begin to do something. I want to have something from you that I can say to God the Father and His Son and His Holy Spirit, this is the seed that you have to work with. I can't wait for you to do it. I want you to do something immediately. Your, your situation must change. Your circumstances must change. Don't be a lower class anymore. I am called to lift you up to be a high and a higher class. That's why I'm in your life. Please allow me into your life to be a voice for God in your life. Those who fail are those who are unwilling to consult with me, to allow me to sow the greatest into their life so that they can become the greatest. It takes an idol. It takes a champion and a hero to form other idols, other celebrities. I am a celebrity. In my own right in Christ Jesus, I am an idol in this area of life and ministries. I am a champion and a hero because Jesus is my champion and my hero and my idol. Therefore, all that he is, I am. He's great in me. And that is why I want to sow into you. So don't take this thing lightly. If I tell you what it cost me to come on YouTube, in the internet, on television, on radio, you wouldn't believe me. Every good thing you see in this world have caused people blood, tears, and sweat, sleepless day, sleepless nights. And that is why I am depriving myself a lot of stuff so that I'll be there for you. I'll be available for you. I am one of those pastors who have decided to be available for you. Not just somebody that you see on television. Not just somebody that you see on YouTube. I am alive. 